All right. This video is pertains to Devin Haney and Stephen Shakur. Um, and who will win if they was to fight today? First off, let me talk about this Devin Haney. If you look right here, this video right here, this was done five years ago. Title, Devin Haney, The Future of Boxing, question mark. Click on it. Next up, man, as, as far as... Um, back it up. I'm over here. This guy that you see in front of me, his name is uh, Devin Haney. I'm just going to let you hear the first... those who don't know. I'm just going to let you just hear the first the beginning of this video. He's 19 years old. Um, he's trained by Floyd Mayweather Sr. I'm going to tell you, this dude right here, for me personally, this dude is is, is is next up, man, as as far as uh, to be a superstar. I think he'll be a superstar. All right. Now, I said this five years ago. Devin Haney's like a superstar. Undisputed. I said this five years ago. Five. I'm not just talking through my neck. I said it. So. Five years later. Now, I now let me, FYI, you know, I missed a lot of in between uh, some of Devin Haney's fights. And I missed a lot of Steven Shakur fights. So I'm, I've been doing my homework on these guys. Been going back and I've been watching fights over, watching fights I haven't seen. I did see the Devin Haney Lomachenko fight. Uh, and I did see they last Shakur Stevenson fight when he fought Yoshino. So I'm just gonna show their last fight. I'm gonna show snippets of their last fight. And I'm gonna show you things that I don't too much care for with Devin Haney. Things I don't care for. Uh, so, you know, I know Devin Haney got his fans. There ain't no hate here. I'm just calling what I see. Shakur Stevenson. There ain't no hate here. I'm just calling what I see. And if you could take it for what it's worth, uh, then that's what it is. If you, if you more, in, if you in, in uh, into these fighters, what is, it's uh, more of an addict. You're not going to like some of the stuff I got to say, cause I'm pretty much going to say things I don't like. So. Uh, and I want to make this clear: Devin Haney was is undisputed. He went over, he went across the pond, and he took a nigga belt. He taking belts from guys. It is what it is. And some of the guys he took belts for from the guys he took the belts from, I don't even think too highly of them. If I'm gonna be honest with it, but he fought the champions. He did the heavy lifting. He can call the shots. Unfortunately for Shakur Stevenson, I know you want Devin Haney, but just like Boots and his Boots trying to fight Crawford, you might have to fight a former champion in like the Boots fighting Keith Thurman. And if you want to get the attention of guys that are holding these straps, Shakur Stevenson need to fight former champions. Even the guys that Devin Haney beat, but they gotta want to fight Shakur. Seeing that a lot of guys is avoiding Shakur Stevenson, it's not his fault. So let's get on to this video. Now, immediately out the gate, Devin Haney is just coming forward. He's not using no jab. He's wiggling his body left to right, and he gets extremely low. I don't understand why he does this. I do not. I'm not a fan of this with Haney. Look at this. He's moving around. No jab, no nothing. He's just coming in, getting low. Look at that. I don't get it. Nice jab. He should be doing that. But, he, but he's jumping in. Devin, see right there when he's wiggling, he don't know what he wants to do. He's trying to force the action, I guess, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. But he threw a couple of jabs. Devin Haney got some nice jab. 
Why not throw a jab while you're coming in like you just did just moments ago? He don't do it. Why he don't do it? I don't know. Bill Haney don't ever say nothing because he keeps doing it in all his fights. Now you wonder why all this ex wasted energy from his feet work, he's moving around to just, he gets tired at the end of the fights because he loses all his energy. Every fight that I've seen. Let's go back one more time. So went back too far. Let's start over again. Hey, he's a good fighter. Let me let me keep emphasizing that. Now he's fighting a future Hall of Famer in Lomachenko. Moving in unnecessarily doing this crap. I don't know why. I don't know why he's doing this, but beat it to me. Throw your jab, Haney. You got a nice jab. Do that. Man, if De Devin Haney would do that, man. But he don't. Unnecessary moving. Look at his feet. He's the hits. Lunging in, getting low. That's that Errol Spence shit right there. You duck your head low, then you wing a punch. Leave your head wide open to be countered. Getting low, just did it again. Getting low, squatting. I don't know what that is. Haney got a nice jab, dude. Really nice jab. He's just man. He's so jittery. He's just all over the dude. Devin Haney is very is a he's sloppy. That's the word. He's very he's, he's sloppy. Getting low. Getting low. That's that Earl Spence duck low. All his legs, he's just moving. Well, people say, well, he's using his footwork. Dude, Lomachenko is not no Mike Tyson. Lomachenko likes to move around, use his footwork, and catch you off angles. He don't have to do that kind of stuff. Not as much as he's doing. I don't think he does. He's moving, and he's, he's, so, he's too, too jittery. He ain't throwing no jab. Jabbing. Ducking low. I mean, he's, he's, he's young, but he's been doing it for such a long time. Ducking low. He's giving Lomo too much respect, man. Look at him. He don't know. Look at all that moving, dude. Nice jab. Work off your jab. But these are habits that he got. I'm not just saying this. These are actual habits. Look, look. Errol Spence. Errol Spence. Big the counter punch with a whoop up up the top of his head. Here he comes. Watch him get low and throw the punch. He's going to throw the punch and he's going to hook it. Errol Spence wide open. Is that, man. He don't know. He don't. He don't know. He's letting Lomachenko is controlling Devin Haney, and, and Lomo ain't throwing no punches. He's just gauging you. He getting your timing down, your patterns. He just. And I'm gonna say this: Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson don't have no power. No real power. Look at David. He's just moving. Just look at his eyes. He's like he don't know what to eat. Jittery. Look at this. Look at his jittery. Work off your jab, Haney. That's why he gets so, the low. People get tired. I mean, you he, hear me say that, but do get low all the time. Low. 
Get low. Get low. Get low. Nice body punch. Throw your jab. There you go. All that bouncing and moving and... Down low. Hell, Loma wouldn't have better put your head down if you didn't get low. Man, through the course of this fight, Loma, uh, Devin Haney just gets really low. I just ain't got time to show all that. Look at that. Guys. This, this, Devin Haney is, 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 when I watch him, it's like he, he don't really know, he don't know if he, okay, he don't have a game plan like, okay, I'm going to work off, I'm going to work on my jab, work off my jab, and I'm going to go to his body, I'm going to work on his body, I'm going to work on this, I'm going to work on doing this to Lomachenko. He, look, Devin's just going through the motions. Is he not? He's just going through the motions. Now let's go look at Shakur Stevenson. This is Yoshino when he fought Yoshino. Now look at this. Immediately, the composure of Shakur Stevenson, he's, he's real smooth. Now, I can tell his game plan. He gets out there, he's getting his range with him. And he's backing up. He's listen. We'll watch. He's studying him already out the gate. He knows. He's studying. He throws a punch. I'm gonna see how he react. I'm gonna throw. That ain't even a real jab. He's kind of just pawing it out, backing up. He's trying to see. Right. Okay. He just threw that punch. He's try. He's getting. He's getting old boys rhythm down and everything. He has. He's doing. He has a purpose on what he's doing. Only thing I don't like about Shakur Stevenson, you see how he just jumped back with his head, chin, he jumped, he, he's doing that jump back when he's missing, jump back. That's my only issue with him, and he really don't have no power. If he had power like a Terrence Crawford, just enough, if he fought Shakur, I mean, if he fought Devin Haney, he'll stop Devin Haney. He'll stop him because he makes too many mistakes. I don't like Shakur Stevenson. All he wants to do is pop shot. He doesn't know. He doesn't get into as much as I want to see him get into it. He don't get to the point where, all right, I'm gonna press him. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some combinations up together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weaken my guy. They don't have no, he don't have no power like that. So you are gonna watch for fight can be boring. Then this guy in front of, I mean, he needs to Shakur in order to really see who Shakur is. He needs to, you need to put some former champions in front of him. Right now, I'm just gauging off strictly talent. Just the talent-wise, I think Shakur Stevenson is more talented. If I had to choose who would win, I'm going to go with Shakur Stevenson. If you just erase everybody that they fought and you just look at just, just strictly skill level and talent, I think Shakur Stevenson would beat Devin Haney. They're both talented, but I, I'm just going by these two. Shakur Stevenson is very composed. He's technical. He gauging his, his speed, his timing. He don't have his feet footwork ain't going all over the place. That's why he's not getting all tired. He's doing surgery. He has a game plan. You watch Haney, he ain't no game plan. He just I'm just gonna do just gonna just fighting. He's using this footwork. He's moving. He's moving. It ain't, it ain't real jittery, and he's not getting so low. He can get he get his head topped off at the top. See how he's he's not lunging in with his head. I know they're different fighters, but I'm just hey, I gotta go with one. I gotta go with Shakur. I gotta go with Tupac Shakur Stevenson. Look at this. He's like, okay, this dude can't deal with his counter. And he keeps that space between. If you watch the core, the core is like having that little space right there. You get too close, he's going to back up. He don't want you too close to him. See, he's backing up. So he can. So when you miss, he can make you pay. Shakur is a slower starter. Look at this. He's a slower starter than uh, Haney. 
So it's all about but it's a big difference on how they fight. What it is Yoshino's trying to do. He just needs some power. Now. He needs to sit down on his punches. I don't know. He needs to get in there with somebody that can show him the. the he wants to take that he can, I mean, I'm sure he can hit harder than what he's hitting. But him and David Haney. But I've seen David Haney sit down on his punch and not really doing nothing. So when you go back, look at Devin Haney. Let's just let's just jump it in. Let's just fast forward it to right here. I don't know where it's gonna be. No, let's just start right here. Let's go for a little bit more. Let's go right here. There you go. Mouth wide open. That's how you get take tired now. Bad habits. I don't. He's just sloppy. I'm not. I'm not a real big fan of Devin Haney. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I think he's a good fighter, but me being a fan, like, oh, I can't wait to Haney fight. I'm, I'm not like that. I just watch him and say, okay, you know, he did good, he did bad, whatever. I'm not a fan of Shakur Stevenson either. Not really. But I'm starting to watch because I miss I miss fights. So look at that. Hands ain't up. He just all this moving and stuff. I don't think he has to do all this stuff, man. And you showing too much respect to to Lomachenko. It's a waste of a jab for him not to use his jab, man. There you go. Man, Haney, man, if he uses his jab like he's supposed to, I would have to go with Haney beating Shakur because his, 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 Haney's jab is so is so dominant. He got a better jab than Shakur Stevenson to me when he uses it. But I got to take that. He don't throw his jab like that. Look at that. He's got caught. See, I, I, I. Y'all know who I thought won that fight, so. See, I think Haney got a better jab than uh, Shakur. I think Haney's a little bit taller than him, too. Shakur Stevenson fights to me, they get boring. Haney fights, they get, they get boring. You ain't got no power. It's like you just watching Bantamweights fight. Shakur, he'll, like I say, he'll uh, have flash knockdowns and stuff, uh, but he has a he has a boxing IQ. He knows how to, he knows what he needs to do once he starts figuring you out. He just don't have the power to, to get you out of there. You just gotta sit there and watch this whole the, the fight. Let's fast forward. See when he and and he and uh, Shakur can fight on the inside too. He's real good, man. Shakur's smooth. He's smooth. He's smooth. Look, even Tim Tim Bradley's talking about it. He's stepping on his feet. Look at him stepping on his feet. We all know that Bradley, or maybe we don't. By a good body shot. Uh, we just need to push Shakur Stevenson there with some with some with some steeper competition. They're going to build this fight out like Crawford and Spence. So, uh, it is what it is. So, that's my thoughts. Hey, if I had to go with somebody, I'm, I'm going with Shakur Stevenson. I think he's a, a, a more um, a composed, smooth, I know, what I'm, I know what I'm doing type of a fighter versus Devin Haney when you're just going through the motions jittery get tired just mouth open stuff like that uh but you know Devin, he he, he got he got the hardware so i mean i mean it is what it is you got to respect that he still took their belts no matter how how good his opponents was he took it from him give me your belt give me that shit 
respect to both fighters. Uh, what you guys think?